Hey, I'm back with the second part of my organic foods series about the foods that I always and never buy organic. It's pretty extreme, but there are foods that I never buy and there are foods that I always buy organic. My last video was about the ones that I always buy organic. This one is about the foods that I never buy organic and there's 12 of each, so 12 foods I never buy organic. The first one is cabbage and Brussels sprouts. I eat a ton of cabbage and we like a lot of Brussels sprouts too, but that's usually just seasonal. But I eat cabbage year round, almost on a weekly basis. And so I've learned that cabbage is just not prone to pests. I think the outer couple of leaves are prone to pests, but the farmers tend to just peel those off before selling. And it's so tough with those outer couple of leaves to protect it. The inner ones are almost always really pristine and you don't need to spray, which is great. Even if you do spray, the inner leaves don't have any spray on them, so they don't test as being toxic either. Speaking of being toxic, I'm gonna be showing some video from my computer showing the website that I always refer to, the Environmental Working Group's website, about the ratings of these various vegetables and fruit on my list of things that I don't buy organic. So if you see a larger number, that just means that they're cleaner. The list starts with number one being the dirtiest, strawberries, and it ends with the cleaner foods. So cabbage is down at the bottom among the very, very clean foods that tested as being almost no pesticides at all. So I'm really happy I can get that cheap bag of shredded cabbage when I don't have time to shred my own. And it only costs a dollar or two in the stores. And it's really hard to find organic shredded cabbage anyway. So that's really nice for me because I love my cabbage chopped salads. Second on the list is avocados. I think it's just because avocados have that really tough skin and it's also a tropical fruit that tends to grow in the wild with no problem and no pests. So don't spend the extra dollar to get an avocado that's organic because you don't need to. They're the same thing inside. Thirdly, asparagus which is kind of surprising. It doesn't have a, a thick skin, but for whatever reason, it is not prone to pests, so it isn't sprayed. So asparagus, you can buy fresh on a farm stand without knowing for sure that the farm is organic, which is really nice because we tend to find asparagus fresh and it's the best when it's the freshest. So go ahead and buy it at the farmer's market or the farm stand on the roadside and don't even bat an eye if it's not labeled organic. That's okay. Number four would be onions. Onions grow under the ground and they have such a pungent smell, this goes with garlic too actually, that the pests don't really like them. So they're not only protected by the earth, but the borers and the bugs just are completely repelled by the smell of them. So those of us who grow our own veggies like to plant our garlic and our onions next to the most pest prone vegetables because sometimes they can chase them away. That's a nice trick. Number five is broccoli. Broccoli is one of the healthiest foods that you can buy and eat. But like I said in a former video, broccoli can go bad really quickly without you even realizing it. The nutrients start to fade in broccoli after just 24 hours after picking. So I always get my broccoli frozen. And yes, I do buy organic sometimes, but you don't need to. Mushrooms are another great food that you don't have to worry about having an organic label for. It's actually really hard to find a mushroom that hasn't been grown organically because most of them depend on organic conditions in order to grow well. So don't worry about getting organic mushrooms. You can get mushrooms that are not labeled organic. Kiwi fruit are one fruit that does have kind of a thin skin that is okay to not buy organic. Maybe because the skin tends to be kind of hairy and spiky, it's not vulnerable to pests like berries are. I'm not sure, but for whatever reason, kiwis aren't sprayed and they don't need to be bought organic. The next two on the list are mango and pineapple. Again, these are kind of wild foods. They grow in the wild without any human interaction, which means they are naturally pesticide free or pest free. You don't have to spray pesticides on something that grows on its own in nature. Number 10 is melons, and boy, if those insects knew what was inside there, they would be all over those melons. 
but because the rind is so thick and substantial, they're just not that prone to insect invasion. So melons aren't really sprayed very much. They're pretty clean on the list. You can buy melons that don't say organic on them. Number 11 is eggplant. Eggplant doesn't have a very thick skin, but it is kind of a thick vegetable just in general. It's not very tender, so it doesn't need a lot of pesticides. Finally, number 12, cauliflower. Even though it's totally exposed to the air and it's not protected in any way, it's not prone to insect invasion. So pesticides aren't very necessary when it comes to cauliflower. So you can eat that cauliflower pizza or cauliflower rice or whatever cauliflower products you wanna eat. I don't really like them myself, but they're all fine to eat whether they say organic or not. Now, one thing on this list that I've been flashing before you from the environmental working group in these last couple of videos is sweet corn. It is listed as a pretty clean fruit or vegetable. So sweet corn is kind of a tricky one to talk about. Now, it isn't very dirty in terms of pesticides being sprayed on it, which is what the environmental working group is measuring in all of these data. But just to be safe and to know for sure there's no glyphosate on my corn, I like to get it organic when I get it, which is not very often. So this has been my list of priorities in terms of the things that I buy or don't buy organic. Again, it's based on the things that I buy most. Cabbage was at the top of my list. It's also one of the cleanest, so obviously it's number one. Cauliflower I never buy because nobody in my family likes it but it's, it's pretty clean and you can safely buy it without being organic. You have your own list and your own priorities based on the Environmental Working Group's list of dirty or clean veggies and fruits. So I encourage you to do some research, look over their website, which I have linked below, and see which ones are a priority for you. If you haven't seen my other video, I really encourage you to go and see it because it's super, super important to know which are the dirtiest vegetables and fruits in our lives. Really, if you want to know what they are now, it's mostly berries, dark leafy greens, stone fruit, apples and pears. Those kinds of things and grapes and wine are at the top of the list of dirty vegetables and fruit. So you want to stay away from those unless they have an organic sticker. Or here's another tip. If it has a nine on the sticker, that's the little sticker that comes on the fruit, then the nine at the beginning means that it is organic. So, I hope this helps you to prioritize and budget when it comes to eating fresh whole food, which is so important. And hopefully this saves you a little bit of money knowing that you don't have to buy all of your foods organic. I'll see you in the next video where I'm gonna be talking about my healthy skincare routine for the summertime. You can tell by looking at me that I don't get a ton of sun in the summer. So that's one way that I look after my skin. I don't go out in the middle of the day around noon. But I do a lot of other things to protect my skin in the summertime and really nurture it. So I'll be sharing that with you in my next video. And I'll look for you there.